So a couple of months ago, I made a video on why to learn full stack development. I think I was wrong. Not entirely wrong, but I think now in the retrospect, when I'm thinking about the problem, the market is moving way faster than I expected. Today, front-end developers are struggling to get their interviews, and I think I found the issue. I'm going to tell you exactly what has happened in past couple of months and what should you do instead. This might contradict what you already heard in the market, but the data doesn't lie. I think here's what happened to full stack. It becomes a trap. You know a little bit of JavaScript, you know a little bit of Python, you know a little bit of backend, you know a little bit of Java, you know a little bit of CSS, little bit of DevOps. And what happened when it goes to an interview? You couldn't answer most of the basic questions because you have limited time. So how can you, with your limited time, learn everything? Simultaneously, you become master in all of those technologies and I think that is just not possible. So what shifted in 2025? Two things. First, the AI coding tools. We have Cursor, we have ChatGV, we have GitHub Copilot. And these tools are fundamentally changing the way we do our software development. So right now, if you are a front-end developer, it is relatively easier for you than previously to build basic backend system. And vice versa, if you are a decent backend developer, it is comparatively easier for you to create a front-end system. And I think secondly, market kind of overcorrected. Everyone started doing full stack. Everyone wants to build apps, which is good. I'm not saying anything's bad in that, but I think in very short period of time, maybe a couple of years, everyone is like shifting gears. Everyone is like wants to show that they can build everything. And I think that causes an oversupply of full stack developer who can claim that they can do everything, but when they go to an interview, they can barely pass those interviews. So I think what's happening is the full stack is being replaced by someone who knows really well front end, but very basic knowledge of back end. Then companies are more looking for someone who is really good at front end, but can do basic back end development. Are you understanding what this means? Okay, so what's happening now, and I think what happened in the future is more and more companies will need more expertise because see, AI is good for like scaffolding, your MVP, or maybe you can add a few features. But if you want to scale your application, I mean, you need expertise, you need experts. Those experts who are also pretty good with AI technologies. So if you're someone who wants to do the full stack development, I'm not saying you don't do that. I'm saying you need to change the strategy. Rather than learning everything, what I want you to do is you pick some of the technologies you think you can do really well. And on the side, you can supplement that with AI. And why this will work? See, when you will go to an interview, you in your resume will claim that you're pretty good in front end, or you're pretty good at back end, or you're pretty good at DevOps. I don't know what you're pretty good at, right? But the main thesis is, yes, you're pretty good at one thing, but with the modern AI tools, I am willing to learn or willing to execute at 10x speed. So I'm not saying you go directly and say this in an interview, but you need to somehow showcase them that you're expert in one domain, and I know you're looking for some full stack people or you're looking for some expertise in this area. I can do that. And on the simultaneously on the side with AI tools, I can deliver those products, those features as well. So this is how you will broadcast yourself in an interview in your resume that, you know, you are specialist in one domain and the second domain, you can still deliver good code. So this is what you need to change. You're not going to say, I'm pretty good at backend. I'm good at frontend. And when the when you go to an interview, they'll ask you a basic question and you, you'll be like, I don't know how to do that. I was just doing the basic things, right? So this thing will not work, at least in 2026 onwards, because a lot of people who will just say, I build an app with AI, but they will not have enough knowledge or proper knowledge in one certain domain. So I think the future is you have expertise. So you should be expert in one area and you can supplement that with AI in the other domain. So what's the action plan? So action plan is that you pick one domain, let's say you want to do backend, so that should be your 80% of your focus. The rest 20% of your focus, rest should be learning the basics of frontend and learn how to supplement that with AI. What AI tools you need to use, maybe you need to know V0, what design uh, principles you need to learn from the front end side, right? So, so that in an interview, you can say, I'm pretty good at backend, 
on front end side i i learned those things and with the ai or if you have assistance or any other kind of tool i can build proper systems i can build a full stack app so i think this is where the the future goes i think this is where like you'll be seeing a lot of jobs coming in so if you can do those things it won't be that difficult to get your job or to get your first technical job thanks a lot for watching